Hey, can you even see me? All you self promoters are janky. We established like the yank. What's up, friends? It's Naira. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. What's up, girl? Um, it's my first day back home in Maryland. I was in South Carolina visiting Paul. Oh. I was visiting Paul because he graduated from his military basic training. Now he's in AIT, and I won't see him for another five weeks. But we're not going to talk about that. I Uber I Uber eated Uber ate Uber ordered. I think I just did something. I Uber ordered some McDonald's. Um, usually I have to work at nine o'clock in the morning. However, my manager is like really playing with my schedule right now. So I don't work till 12. I don't work till noon. And it's like, oh yeah, I get to stay home and film videos in the morning. However, comma. That means I don't get off till eight every day. I was supposed to never close. That's kind of like, you know, the disposition I had in the store. I was never gonna be closing. And now I close every day. What is this? I think they gave me Diet Coke instead of regular Coke. In which case I need to send this back. I can't tell if this is Diet Coke or not, but it's good, it doesn't matter. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese mixed griddle, hash brown, and a Coke. Because who doesn't love to drink soda at 9 o'clock in the morning? Not today when I go into work, but tomorrow. I'm definitely going to be getting written up. Because, um, hold on, let me get into this mixed griddle. I'm over here talking. Imagine if I'm trying to do a mukbang and they, or however you pronounce it. I know I probably said it wrong. Imagine I'm trying to, like, film this video of me eating this and they messed up my order. I would have literally ran up the streets to McDonald's. So I know tomorrow when I go in, I'm get, my district manager's going to be there. And I'm going to be getting written up. Because, um. Squad going. Because. I'm sorry, I'm not a lady. Because inventory was on the Sunday that just passed. Which basically means me coming at five o'clock in the morning and count all the glasses frames that are there. But that was my last day to see Paul. What do I look like leaving my fiance a day early to come count glasses? Funny, I was really funny and cute. <laughs> they tried it, they thought that's what I was gonna do, but that's not what I was gonna do. So yeah, um, my district manager, my store manager was like, anybody who doesn't come to inventory is getting written up. And I was like, I am getting written up. In other news, um, I traveled like by myself for the first time. Okay, like, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm 18, I'm about to turn 19. Um, and I know what you're thinking. If you didn't previously know my age, you're thinking you're 18 and engaged. Oh, honey. Yeah, I'm 18 and engaged, honey. And I like traveled for the first time by myself to South Carolina. I like planned it all by myself and stuff. And wow, trips are expensive. The Airbnb for the whole week was like 600 and something dollars. It was like 630. And obviously could be worse. And I stayed in like a nice apartment. It was like nice. Um, so it could be worse, but still. One day, I said to my sister, imagine how good it would be to take two waffles and put like a breakfast sandwich in the middle of them. And I thought I was like the coolest thing since sliced bread for thinking that. And as I'm eating this McGriddle, it dawns on me that this is what that is, just with pancakes. You can't come up with anything new anymore. What is 2018? So, I've been thinking about making music. That, like, what am I even talking about? Because I can sing. I actually really can't sing. I'm just um, congested all the time. <laughs> my um, my father used to be a DJ and a music producer before he passed away. So, a lot of my dad's friends are music producers, including my godfather, who I love very much. He's one of the most inspiring people in, like, my life. And he always tells me, like, you're destined for greatness. He's the person who made me, like, really believe, like, 
I am supposed to be something big. I'm like, you know, I'm supposed to do something big. Mm, girl. And he's a music producer, so I would think about hitting him up. Like, hey, let's make music. I want to, like, sing on a song with, like, a really, like, a really dope sample. I love samples. Like, oh, my God. Everybody's, like, dragging Ariana and Pharrell for the lights coming because of the sample. But that sample, like, makes the song for me. I'm, like, I love Kanye West because of all his samples. Like, like, um, what song is that? We could have been some. I'm the biggest Kanye West fan ever, and I can't remember the name of that song. Oh, Blood on the Leaves. Like, that sample went brazy. Roses went crazy. Um, uh, what's the, Through the Wire. Like, Kanye samples are so, 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 like, intricate and unique. Like, oh, my God. I genuinely don't know how to pronounce Mukbang, mukbog, I don't. King's Dominion, like I don't know how to pronounce it. Music banger, like I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'm doing it. Don't people get like mad about that? I like see people in comment sections all the time. Like, That's how you pronounce it. Who really cares? Like, let me eat on camera in peace. My cat is like sitting over there, and because I'm sitting in my living room. Obviously, this is my bedroom, well, and I have the the back door open, so I can have you know natural sunlight tease. And my cat is like sitting here rolling around, looking stupid. What are you doing, honey? I've been gone for a whole week, and my cat like was not excited to see me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Listen to this. So yesterday I was supposed to be here, back in Maryland at three thirty p.m. I didn't get her till one thirty eight. No, I didn't get her till two thirty. Let's talk about it. So, um, we missed our first bus. It was really bizarre. I had my phone. The ghost be dripping. I had my phone and my iPad set with two alarms to wake us up one time, and neither of them went off. And I was like freaking out, losing my mind. Right now, Paul is in AIT, which is job training in the military. He had his phone through the night. So I'm like texting him, and I know, I know the poor boy has to wake up in an hour, but I'm like texting him like, oh my God, the alarms didn't go off. I'm gonna have to pay another $120 to get me, and I brought my little sister too, to get me and my little sister like back to Maryland and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, you know, he's texting like, he's like, calm down. Like, he's like, do you want me to see the money for it? I'm like, like it's not about the money. <laughs> it's not about the money, Pop. It's not about the money, okay? I just don't know how I missed it. I don't want your money. I was like legitimately in shambles. Are you good, homegirl? My cat is like not okay. I was legitimately in shambles, like. However, I am a religious, uh, a re we stand a religious queen. I am religious. And I believe that when something, like everything happens for a reason because God has a very specific detailed intricate plan for every one of us so i wasn't supposed to make that first bus however however i did lose a hundred and four dollars because of that i like i'm not that upset like i'm not a very materialistic thing especially because i'm somebody who was like financially stable at a young age I'm not very materialistic because, like, I don't know. Like, you know how they say somebody who's, like, like, some people who are, like, really flashy, like, don't really understand money? Like, you know how people say that? Like, oh, like, if you're flashy, you know, you don't really understand the concept of money. I'm somewhere in the middle because I like to be, like, flashy, but I'm also not, like, like braggy. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm not mad that I lost the money because I know, like, it happened for a reason. I don't understand the reason, and that's cool. So, Paul was in basic training with no contact with the outside world aside from letters for two months. So, I had a playlist of new music waiting for him, and he was, like, mind blown. And, okay, imagine you join the military. Wait, okay, wait, real quick. I saw the funniest tweet yesterday that said, I'd serve crack before I'd serve this country. And I was through and through crying laughing. I, um...
I had a playlist of new music for him. I was like, you know, here's what you missed. But imagine going to the military without contact for two months and you come back and you find out that XXX Tentacion died over it. Um, this isn't the place. If you don't like him, my comment section says not the place to bash someone who died. Um, we're going to let him rest in peace. But yeah, like Paul was a fan of X's music. And I was like, um, like, sorry to break it to you. Like, that's like terrible. There's like, oh, I almost fell. Oh, my McGriddle just fell. My Mc... My McGriddle just fell. Wow, that was fun. Yay, that's so fun. It fell everywhere. <laughs> I don't remember what I was saying. So I guess that's the end of this. I'm just gonna go. Bye. <laughs>